just under the mind control of Raven, but he has some incredible ability in the ring. Wow, you talk about Raven and you use the word mind control. It's almost a natural that you'd put them together in the same sentence. Certainly Julio and Alexis, part of Raven's gathering, his disciples, his minions, any of the words that you want to use. They basically do the dirty work for Raven is what they do. And how about CM Punk yes. last week? I mean, obviously trying to impress Raven. I, you know, I didn't think that you recruited Raven. I thought Raven had to recruit you, but he obviously is doing everything he can to flatter Raven and get in the group. I got, maybe he feels like uh, that's you know his way to the top. I can't blame him. I mean, Raven is one of the greats here at NWA TNA. And what a wild situation the last couple of weeks with Raven and Shane what is, Douglas. What, what is with that, Mike? You, you've got to. I mean, that just came out of nowhere a couple weeks ago, and just it's, it's just catapulting. Yeah, of course, the history between Raven and Shane Douglas dates back years to the ECW promotion. And obviously that rivalry has now continued here in NWA TNA. Think of Shane Douglas, the role that he played in preventing Raven from winning in that three-way match as we see uh, Julio catch him off the top rope and oh, immediately goes for the pin, but Steve Madison kicks out. Well, that's just right there, got the you know grab on Madison's leg there to give Julio the time he needed to be ready for the jump. And I'll tell you what, he timed it perfectly. That's, how about the cage match, Mike? First ever. Yeah, history Triple will be made. And it, I'll tell you what, I believe that AMW finally got the level playing field that they have needed. And they're going to need if they're ever to defeat Triple X. Oh, and four against Triple X so far in their career. An attempt by Julio for a two count. No question, you can't deny the one loss record. But if you were to put an asterisk next to that 0-4, sort of like the Roger Harrison in his 61 right. home runs years ago, Think about the fact that there has always been the common denominator of illegal activity, outside interference on the part of another member of Triple X, on the part of another member of Sports Entertainment Extreme. Think about it. It took an injured Loki to come in to get the save for Triple X last week. That's not going to be the case this Wednesday. No. The Steel Cage, the most dangerous match in professional wrestling history, debuts at the TNA Asylum exclusively on pay-per-view for you this Wednesday. America's Most Wanted, Harrison Storm, they get a chance to even the odds in the steel cage and they get another shot at the World Tag Team Championship belts. Madison. That's twice Madison's almost had Julio down and out for the count. Another pin attempt and again Julio able to dig down and kick out at two. Yeah, this is finally the opportunity that Harris and Storm have been waiting for. This is what they've been looking for. This is this is really their opportunity. I think you called it the even playing field. It's exactly what it does. It takes that numbers game, and, and it's not going to be three on two. It's not going to be four on two. It's two on two with the tag team belts at stake this Wednesday at the TNA Asylum and exclusively on pay-per-view all throughout the United States, all throughout North America, all throughout the world. Madison back to working on the arm. Out of the full Nelson, where's Julio going to take it? Beautiful! Swinging, yeah. swinging slam, the follow-up pin. The winner of the match, Julio Tenero. Ravens representatives, Ravens disciples in the gathering, Julio and Alexis celebrate the win. And CM Punk wants to be a part of the gathering. They're lining up to join. There you see the winners, Julio, De Niro, and Alexis. Checking the cash.